Hello, good morning everyone. I am flying back to the UK tomorrow. <sighs> am I excited? Yes. Am I nervous? Yes. Am I scared? Yes. Am I gonna get homesick? Maybe. <laughs> I've been in Hong Kong for around five months and I've pretty much adapted to this Hong Kong living lifestyle. I mentioned in my other video about reasons why I dislike university is that you literally live a whole new lifestyle. University life is a whole complete different lifestyle and it is impossible for you to live the same lifestyle you were used to back at home. And when I return to the UK, I will live a whole new lifestyle and there's a lot of adaptations. That is something that I'm not looking forward to, but obviously I'm really excited to start uni again. Today, I'm gonna start packing since I am leaving tomorrow, so it makes sense to pack. It's actually kinda late. I normally pack like two to three days before traveling, but since I am, I don't know, I'm gonna miss my family, but obviously I have to go back. I just can't stay in Hong Kong forever. I will bring you guys along and just pack with you guys. I'm just gonna go down and grab my luggage and we can start packing together. Let's start packing. Why is there salt in my luggage? Wait. There is like sea salt in my luggage. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that out, but it's pretty handy how I have some bags for me to store my toiletry and all that already. So that is a good start. Obviously, I need to bring some face masks because it is Corona time. So yeah, it's not funny. It shouldn't be a meme. I want to share a really cute face mask that I found in Hong Kong. It's basically like tie dye surgical mask. Isn't that so cute? Uh, yeah, that's that. And I'm gonna bring one box of these tie dye surgical masks. That is just so extra, but I love it. And just a normal, like standard blue one. So I got two boxes of face masks. I know some friends that brings like five boxes of face masks, but I can buy more in the UK because I don't like to pack so much. And then I also, I'm gonna bring some of my favorite Asian instant noodles since that is something that you can't buy in the UK so I'm bringing that I am also bringing some toothbrush since I love these toothbrush and you can't buy them in the UK so I'm bringing them along with me and just some normal like skincare Japanese skincare that I personally use that you can't buy in the UK so I'm bringing that with me too also love this Muji instant soup that you can't buy in the UK so yeah this is like a mini haul that I basically this is these are everything that I bought in Hong Kong just for my trip to the UK it's just things that I can't buy in the UK I just want to share with you guys so like this is my face wash that I use that is Japanese some hand sanitizer that is Korean you know like these things you just can't find in the UK so I'm just gonna bring them along I need to bring my own perfume that I use I am currently using this a Malfi Sunray perfume from the Zara and the Jo Malone collab. I have the big one and also the roll on one since I adore this scent so much. I think this just screams my natural smell but emphasized and enhanced and it smells better. So I'm bringing that along with me too since I did mention in my other video that perfume is definitely something really personal. I don't think I can find a scent that smells like this exactly in the UK in any store. Definitely bring some personal items with you which is exactly what I'm doing. I just arrived at the airport. I'm gonna check in. It's quite quiet. It's not as quiet as the time where I flew back to Hong Kong from London. But obviously Hong Kong airport normally is super busy and this is pretty quiet for me. So in the process of me checking in, I need to scan a QR code and this QR code is basically for the government to track where I'm staying for the first two weeks when I'm in the UK. 
Everything is literally still closed. This is just like when I was at the airport in London. You see, nothing is open. Nothing. I'm heading to my lounge just to chill. But literally, everything is like closed out under construction. Weird to see Hong Kong airport like that. This is like the first time ever. Okay, oh my god, I went the wrong way because the airport looks completely different now. Everything's closed. I can't even recognize the way I'm looking. I can't really sweaty, but the airport is literally in a one way system. Okay, look, I mean, no stores are open. And we only walk one direction. Everyone's just walking in the same direction. This is what is happening. It's so bizarre. I made it. I can freaking relax now and get some food. That was probably the longest walk in my life to find the lounge. I mean, my mask is off because I am somewhere else, pretty isolated. I have to put the camera super close to my face because I need to talk quietly. It's so people around me and I hate being in public. But I'm just chilling in the lounge right now with my lemon water. I ordered some food because I don't want to eat too much since I know I will eat at the plane again. But yeah, the airport is not as quiet as I thought it would be. I'll show you guys around. That is my food food powder coming over. You know, I just want to eat for the sake of eating. It's free food, why not? But this is how the lounge looks like. Like a mini overview. Pretty standard, but it's just nice to have a place to chill and have good Wi-Fi. 